Let me quickly explain mapping to you again. Now mapping and function are basically the same thing but in two worlds. Uh, function is algebraic, mapping is in the world of geometry. Let me talk to you about a couple of functions here. Or a couple that aren't functions. Now, in this case, some students don't like uh, this one. They say, oh, this isn't a function because of these twos got Ws. That's actually perfectly fine. If I was to graph this, you'd get 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 2. Maybe this is a, a parabola we're forming. This is a very normal function. And the idea that it can use the same y value is perfectly fine. What you can't have is like in this case, where you are assigning doubly 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 4. The issue, of course, is right here that this guy, these guys got assigned uh, more than one y value. You cannot have more than one y value. So what does that have to do with mapping? Well, it has a lot to do with mapping. And the, the key is that in mapping's case, it's okay to go from, say, a triangle down to a segment. Now, that's weird. I'll give you that. But really, why that's okay is because this vertex is getting assigned one spot. That's like this. This vertex is getting assigned a spot. That's like this. And this one is also getting assigned a spot. That's perfectly fine. What you can't do you can always go down to smaller or the same. What you can't do is go from fewer to more. This will not be a mapping. Let me explain why. This guy gets assigned, uh, this vertex gets assigned here. This vertex gets assigned here. This vertex gets assigned here. Now watch, the last one is going to cause us a little bit of trouble here it is going to be assigned a second location. Do you see how this one got doubly assigned? That's like this happening and this happening. So this last is not a mapping.